Hey there and welcome to the latest episode of Frame 316 Media. My name is Robert. I'm a content creator and my passion is to help you become a content creator. So we're still in our 5-minute trick series uh, in our channel right now. So uh, this is a series where um, I'm hoping to help those beginning designers and editors to, you know, with, with bits and uh and pieces of tips and tricks that can help you um, make your editing more you know, complex you know in a way uh, than uh, your uh, how you're usually doing it so uh, for this episode I want to talk about the very simple concept which is rotation so uh, this might come in handy when you have different shapes on top or different elements photos images even videos that you want to rotate so um, it's it would be helpful if you have a proper understanding of how rotation works in Premiere Pro. So right now I have here a very simple graphic which is as you would see on my uh, program window. This is a simple rectangular shape and it's a graphic. So when you go here on the effects control make sure the graphic clip is selected uh, you would have different sorts of attributes here okay so the motion attribute which is what we usually uh, modify or animate but for now because we're using a shape make sure that well, you change the attributes for the shape okay so the next thing I want to talk about is the anchor point so when you look closer to this uh, rectangular shape here there are different points on the side so you know when you drag the sides uh, any any point from the side you would change the scale okay but you you notice there's something different in the middle of the of my screen right now this is what you call the anchor point and when I hover my mouse you would notice that it uh, converts to an anchor point uh, selector okay or anchor point select tool I forgot what it's called okay so I can practically move it in different locations you know I can uh, snap it or make sure that I'm selecting the different points or in the middle but the problem with this is you know it's very difficult to assume that you are really in the middle of this uh, uh, drawing so what you have to do first is when you go here uh, in view make sure you select snap and program monitor okay so once I want this in the middle that you know you would notice this like red line uh, dotted lines that would help me uh, uh, estimate or snap in the middle of my drawings like this one okay so right now I'm in the middle of the drawing so when I do the rotation just to demonstrate this very quickly uh, so that you can see okay so when I work on my rotation here when I modify this you would notice you know that it is rotating with the anchor point on the middle so the, the, the concept or the principle that I want to share you guys is that you know you can decide how your uh, rotation behaves by simply by just by moving the anchor point so let's say I want to move the anchor point to the left uh, lower left corner of my drawing and when I start animating it or changing the rotation attribute you would notice now the behavior changed so it's now rotating from the left point of my uh, drawing okay so if I want to bring it here to the right uh, top right corner my rotation would be on that side okay so just to you know uh, show this in an actual animation you know let's say somewhere here select my clip and I make sure that I toggle the rotation attribute here so that creates a keyframe in that section and let's say I move up to here a few seconds let's just close this first now my end point would be at this part so again just to point this out if you want your uh, animation to be faster you just bring this uh, 
keyframes sorry bring these keyframes closer to each other so that dictates the speed of your animation okay so again my anchor point is on the lower left so the behavior of my rotation is dictated where my anchor point location is so that would be our very quick episode for the day and i hope you learned something and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe there's a lot of content that you can find here that would help you be uh, that would help you become a um, content creator in no time at all at your own pace okay guys thank you for watching and i hope to see you on my next videos